good evening guys and happy sunday to all of your sunshiny faces the good news is that oh my goodness look at that dog <laughs> um i woke up early today which i was happy about um i ended up actually got up at like 8 30 we had to run to the dollar tree to get my mom a couple things that she needed for craft stuff um and yeah because she again i think i was telling you guys like can't you know she's she got the okay from her doctor and everything like that now that she can like drive in the cars and stuff like that but driving is probably again you know i mean she's still uncomfortable and stuff like that so um you know all of that stuff after her surgery and everything like that um so then you know we just actually were like okay we'll go to the dollar store because you know starbucks is right there <laughs> so we were like sure um so we went got starbucks um, we ended up watching um, our church service online and then we actually watched the Bears game started right after that which I was honestly guys <laughs> like not I don't know it's so weird I'm like they lost today but I'm not like I'm just kind of like I can't believe that happened because it happened in the last like minutes of the game um and I was pretty sure like through most of the game because of the church service too so we caught the start of the game like a little bit late um and so I was like oh wow the bears are pretty big right now you know um and they've stayed on top pretty much I think throughout the whole game and like it was snowing at one point I was like oh this will be an easy win and stuff like that and then they ended up losing at the end and I was like wow how did that happen and I'm not overly upset about it only because I kind of want things to change and I feel like things won't change if they do win any games at all <laughs> so with them losing is like hey maybe stuff will wind up changing just because like they're not in a position right now where I think that they can win the Super Bowl um you know or like that they're gonna go I mean they could go the playoffs but like what's the point the end goal is supposed to be to win a Super Bowl and like you know that doesn't seem like it's really happening so um yeah but anyways I, I wasn't like totally upset you know I'm upset they lost it's a little unfortunate that they won the other games that they did because if not they get a good draft pick <laughs> so it's kind of like that thing like you know like oh when a team loses like it stinks but at least you know that like good things normally normally wind up kind of coming out of that and you can set yourself up sometime for success but I'll be honest I don't see with a lot of the stuff that's going on the team being set up for success i don't know just um you know like i don't know i'm not overly upset about it or anything like that so it stunk that i sat there and watched the game they lost like after the bears game there was no game on that i even cared to watch like the um the the packers were playing i think the eagles and then sunday night football was the broncos versus the chiefs and i was like that's probably going to be a blowout even though i like the broncos like you know watching them play the chiefs is also going to be kind of disappointing <laughs> i just decided i wasn't going to watch any other games after that i watched the post games until like honestly like almost five o'clock and i was like okay i'm gonna go in my room i actually just kind of chilled again because i was tired a little bit and it does kind of stink because i'm going to bed a little bit late tonight a little bit um not super super late because again i am tired but i was actually ready for bed at 10 o'clock i had all of my stuff turned off and i was like okay i'm just gonna real quick like check my social media and stuff like that and all of a sudden it's like everybody was posting all kinds of stuff today and i was like oh i gotta catch up on all of this <laughs> i told you guys too i'm normally really good about checking my phone i only do it like once once per day and so i ended up only checking it but a ton of people like were posting things and stuff like that i was like gotta read all of this stuff you know like check out all the pictures and everything like that and then before i knew it was when it started to turn into now i'm just kind of scrolling through other things too like groups and you know videos and stuff like that too and i was like okay i just need to disconnect and turn this off so while i was ready almost an hour ago for bed it is now about 11 o'clock and i need to um go get in the shower and get to bed but i will share with you guys um today was saint nicholas day which is a different sort of holiday i know not a ton of people celebrate it um both of my parents did sort of in different ways um but when my parents have celebrated it with us like our family tradition um normally we always get like some type of small gift candy and a calendar is always almost always like other than when we were real real little and like 
wouldn't use a calendar but you know we'd always get like something for um saint nicholas day i will show you guys what i got um but the other thing guys that does stink was that i actually was getting myself ready for bed even earlier today um what actually happened was my um, French press broke, which I am insanely upset about because it was not super cheap my mom bought and she I've only had it for about six months now. Um, you know, she actually bought it at World Market and it, um, you know, it wasn't like we just spent like 10 bucks on it at Walmart or something like that. I mean, it was a little, a little bit of money, probably again, probably more than something you could find on Amazon. But, um, you know, so she found it though at World Market. Got it with like one of the discount things or something like that that they had going on. But today when I went to go use it, I looked at it. It didn't have any visible cracks or anything like that or, you know, hole or anything like that. I went, I put the coffee in, in the French press and then I went and put warm water in there. And I never use super, super hot water. I do normally a couple of cups, uh, like it takes four cups. So I normally do four cups at a time and then I put it in the fridge overnight because I like it cold. Um, and I'll normally have it for like a day or, you know, two or three days or something like that. Um, so anyways, I went and, you know, got it all set up and everything like that. I went to go pour the warm water in and all of a sudden I noticed that it seemed like, like there was like a dripple kind of coming out of the bottom and I was like, what is wrong with this? Um, and then actually it all of a sudden, I, I thought I had actually like splashed up the side or something like that and that was what happened. And I was like, oh, that's weird, you know, like, I don't know what, you know, this would have been from or whatever. I didn't notice that I had done that. And so, um, like I said, I just kept pouring it and then, you know, once it was completely filled up, I was like, it's still like, it's actually stopped dripping. So I actually went and like sort of ran my hand along the bottom because I was trying to figure out like, oh, is it still wet down here? You know, like, did I spill it out of the side or something like that? And then all of a sudden it just started like coming right out through this tiny little itty bitty hole. And, um, I have no clue like what caused it the only thing i can think of because it didn't look like that before i would have noticed there was like it was a little hole and then sort of a crack along the whole bottom of the rim and the hole was actually behind the foot and so it couldn't have been like from like damage like somebody hit it or something like that and again i think i would have noticed it before i went and poured the water in or you know like the water would have started coming out earlier but it wasn't until i started pouring it in the only thing i can think of was the glass could have been cold and I poured hot water in there but again it wasn't hot water it was warm water I don't like you know I let it sit normally for a while so I don't do super super hot water in it um I just warm the water up in the microwave for a couple minutes and then pour it in there um and normally like four cups I'll do it for like two minutes and again it's more than lukewarm water but it's like not at all hot water like the Keurig has hotter water that comes out of it and so even when I was trying to stop it from spilling everywhere like I didn't burn myself it wasn't that hot so and again it, it's been sitting in our house it sits you know I put it in the pan in the the cabinet and it's in the kitchen so I don't know why like it would be like because it was cold and then it got hot really fast like if that was what actually caused it to happen but it seems really weird and like I said I have no clue I even checked on the little thing too to see if there's a warranty because I actually still had it because again it was like not even six months ago or something like that you know and so I checked and I didn't see a warranty or anything like that from the package and so I'm a little upset that that's like you know I was actually because since probably Thanksgiving, I've just been using like the Keurig and so um, I haven't been using my French press and so finally I was like, you know what, I remembered to do it today and all that kind of stuff and then sure enough, I lost four scoops of coffee and I have no coffee ready for tomorrow. So um, I'm going to have to use the Keurig, but I don't like hot coffee. I like my coffee to be cold, so I'm going to have to ice it and then it kind of like dilutes the taste and it's not as strong and there's a lot of reasons why I don't like that. And so I'm very frustrated, but that was one thing I asked my parents. I was like, hey, if you guys want to get me that for Christmas, that either another French press or also to do like drip coffee too. Because again, I normally make my coffee always like the night before or whatever. So like if it's cold, I don't mind. So anywho, that ended up thinking because like I said it's been like a couple weeks since I made it just because like I haven't been really good about making sure that I'm like doing it the night before and then to like making it wait waiting for it and letting it sit and stuff like that for a while like that's why if I'm going to use a french press it has to be the night before I will never like make french press <laughs> coffee in the morning just because for me it takes too long like I want my coffee I want to just pull it out and have it so I like cold coffee sort of like a cold brew but like I don't do like 
like cold brewed. I just like to make my coffee normal and then put it in the fridge. And if it's cold afterwards, like I, that's how I like my coffee. <laughs> um, or again, over ice or whatever. But I just think that sometimes it makes it, especially, I don't know why the Keurig coffee does not taste as strong to me. I like the French press because it tastes stronger. Um, and so if I do that over ice, I don't mind, but again, it takes longer. The Keurig takes, you know, two minutes <laughs> less than that probably, but, um, it doesn't taste as strong. And so when I go to add ice, it tastes, like I said, kind of more diluted. Um, so anyways, yeah, guys, um, that's one thing that I am, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping I get for Christmas because, um, like I said, it's only, you know, it'll be another two or three weeks or how many weeks is Christmas? Three weeks from now or something like that. Um, then I'll have to live without that. Like I said, hopefully if I get it, but, um, since I did, since my mom knew and she got it for me before and she knew that I really liked it and stuff like that, I feel like she'll probably be the one to be like, oh yeah, we're going to order this for Kayla off Amazon or whatever. The other thing that I was not happy about was that it says it's safe in the dishwasher and it started to get rust from like the legs are like um, metal and it started to get rust on them too and I feel like that would have been a problem even if I hand washed it um you know at all because it would have gotten rust around on the the metal with the part where it's actually like next to the glass which is the same part where it cracked so I'm also wondering too if like I don't really know that that would have had anything to do with it but it was just really bizarre anyways guys I'll show you guys what I got for St. Nicholas Day so here is what I got for St. Nicholas Day like I said some candy some chocolates in the little I told my dad this is like one of my favorite I used to always want this for Christmas and like I remember getting it one year when I was little and I was like I always loved these little candy cane things like when you see them sticking out of your stocking you're just like oh my gosh I got candy for, <laughs> for Christmas um so I don't know this is always like a weird little thing but I really always loved that oh so, um my dad made sure St. Nicholas picked that out <laughs> um also too some Hershey's Reese's Pieces um like the little Christmas trees and then also too um because I don't really like regular old plain chocolate but this is actually a crisp kringle um and then also too just like i get pretty much every year i've gotten for maybe the last two or three years or something like that thomas kincaid um what's it called um which i have got up over there right now cinderella on my um bulletin board um but it has got all of these different ones i think maybe this one i had this year um like that was maybe a repeat but for the most part a lot of these are maybe this one too um and i think this one a couple of years ago maybe that one maybe that one a couple of years ago because again the cinderella one i have up there is not the same but some of these ones are new and different than like i said in the past years but i just love thomas kincaid like the probably my favorite and i love the disney ones too um so anyways got that for 2021 hopefully that's a better better than 2020 <laughs> calendar um and then also too because guys i do not actually own any baseball hats i've stolen my dad's and matthew's a couple times um like they're ones for our high school um like for football games and stuff like that but i do not own any actual um baseball hats and i like to wear them but um like i said i just i don't have any and now that i wear my hair down a little bit more often and stuff like that i was like i really would like to to wear more baseball hats so um i ended up getting this one as well which has got it's the bulls so um you know i think i was telling you guys too i was like i don't have i, I don't have any bull stuff um up until my birthday my mom got me that um like sort of zip up sweatshirt and then i got this for saint nicholas day as well since the bulls are the team that i am a little bit more <laughs> like excited for looking forward to on like i said the bears even the blackhawks too seem like they're going to be a little bit you know like down in the dumps for a little while maybe um or maybe not quite as good as they've been like maybe they were not going to win a stanley cup in the next couple of years i mean you never know but it seemed like they're a little bit like on the downhill sort of and the cubs too are kind of a little bit like up in the air like what's going on with them um then that's the kind of the same way i feel with the other three teams the bulls i see they, they've been kind of rock bottom I don't know how much worse they can get. So I think we can only go up from here. And being a Bulls fan, I feel very positive in the fact that things might be looking up at least. And so for me, that's pretty positive. And so since it again looks like it might be a good year, I am excited that I have some Bulls attire that I can, you know, be decked out in for when they are playing. And I'm excited to watch them this year. Um, because I'll be honest, 
90% of the reason I was watching the games was for the announcers. I love Stacey King. Like, I love watching the Bulls. Probably just for that reason, because again, the last season two, season three seasons or whatever, not been very good. And so it's been one of the reasons I've been watching the Bulls um, for the last, like it's a couple of years. Now actually there's a lot more positivity, I think, in the Bulls organization. So, um, you know, that's why I'm excited to get all that stuff as well. But I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see you all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye guys.